When everyone in the world was writing them off, they've got the Giants and the Commanders in the next when two everyone weeks. Everyone was writing them off. <laughs> the Greeny was, was the one, Steve, pounding <laughs> the his voice on the of table, reason. telling you that Dallas was still alive. In Go ahead. this particular Tell me instance, yes. the world was wrong and Greeny was right. <laughs> and, and so the point is, I, I'm, I'm, now I'll take it a step farther. They're going to beat both the Giants and the Commanders <gasps> in the next two weeks, and the Cowboys are going to go into that game with the Eagles right on the heels of this Philly team the world is in love with, with Dak coming back. Jerry's hey, going to wind up being it. right. How about it? I see the logic there. I see the, the thread of um, logic. But the Giants aren't the same Giants under Brian Dable. Like, I'm surprised that after the Giants are 2-0 and and we've seen the Giants put up fight, that you are so ready to say that Dallas, they're going to come in and they're going to beat the Giants. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I will say for the Cowboys' sake, this is great news. Having Dak, they're clearly better with Dak. We saw what life without Dak was like. It was not pretty. Um, and they play in the division that makes it easy for them to still be in the hunt. Chris Canty, the point was made yesterday that with Cooper Rush on the field, mm -hmm. that maybe we saw the template for what they should be even when Dak returns, that they do not have the weapons. It was RG3 who was here yesterday making this point, yep. that they don't have the weapons to be the pass-happy team regardless of who their quarterback is, and that by focusing heavily on their running game behind Zeke and Pollard, that regardless of who, and obviously they're better when Dak is there, but that that is the recipe for success for the Cowboys. You agree or disagree? No, I agree, and I think Dak needs to do a better job of playing within the structure of the offense and not focus on trying to be a force multiplier. You don't have the skill position players that you had once upon a time. And so if Dak is able to come back in the next couple of weeks, I do think that he keeps the Cowboys – playoff hopes and division title hopes alive, mm -hmm. but make no mistake about it, the identity for the Dallas Cowboys, if that's going to happen, if they're going to win the NFC East, it has to be the defense, and it has to be because of Michael Parsons, because the guy is an absolute game wrecker, and Greeny, you know this, I said it back this spring, Michael Parsons is the best defensive player in all of football. Well, people were basking in the glow of Aaron Donald winning a chip. I said, this dude is the second coming of Lawrence Taylor. And if you don't believe me, check the Get Up archives because <laughs> Michael Parsons is that good. He's a special talent. And if the Cowboys have any chance at being competitive this year, it's going to have to be because of him, not Dak Prescott. How does it feel, Dominique, to be sitting in between know, two it's, geniuses? It's amazing. No you know out here. Chris Canty and I both brought receipts <laughs> on this day. We well, both I mean, brought receipts. I mean, <laughs> we watched Michael Parsons play last year, so I'm sorry, Chris. We all saw that. We all knew it. You, on the other hand, Greeny, I was dead wrong. You were right about this. Your projection on the Cowboys still being in it was important and was right. I didn't think so, but I do acknowledge that not only is Dak's talent going to help them, but I think the psychic rewards of having him come back does boost this team mm -hmm. some. Cooper Rush keeping them afloat is important, and the point that you brought up about that RG3 said yesterday about playing inside the structure of this offense is a huge one because they believe that Dak is so good that getting him out there with the ball and letting him do whatever he wants is what's right for this team. But I don't think that they have the talent to support him in that way. So asking him to be great on fewer um, downs than they did in week one, I think it's better for everybody. You also just said an interesting thing, the psychic reward. Yeah. That might be why Jerry is saying all this. I, I don't know that he's really coming back in a week or two, mm -hmm. but maybe Jerry is putting that thought out there even because of the psychological boost it might give in his own locker room, the idea that Dak might be that close. I absolutely think so, and that's one. That's the next like frontier of sports that we have not figured out. We analyze everything, but we don't understand the psychology of the athletes, and Jerry Jones, maybe he doesn't either, but he knows that if he says positive <laughs> things, well, that's better than coming out and saying, ho-hum, season's over. He has he to can. say that, yeah. and it's important that the players believe that, and it seems like they do, and it all goes back to what Chris was just saying. That defense is really good mm -hmm. right now because of one man, right. and that one man is allowing everyone else to play well, keeping the score down, which allows this team to put together a smaller offensive production. If you think about this team last several years, we were more focused on what they could do offensively right. than what they can do defensively. Right. Yeah, but we knew they were going to struggle on the offensive side yeah. of things this year coming into this season. Their offense is as suspect as the Yankees' bullpen. That's how bad <laughs> it is because although they have the best run block win rate, they have the worst pass block win rate. And so you worry about them being able to keep whoever's playing quarterback upright. But what made what Cooper Rush did special on Sunday is that he got the ball out on time. Against the Blitz, he was 7 or 8, including one touchdown. Dak has got to focus on getting the ball out of his hands quickly to try to protect that offensive line that's struggling. I have 15 seconds. Kmart, what's the answer to the question on the screen? Can the Cowboys still win that division? Can they? Yeah, but I think the Eagles would have to be decimated by injuries or implode. Okay, well, so the answer is no. Which means the there's a chance. No. Exactly. Jerry Jones just heard 
heard you say <laughs> there's a very good chance this happens. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.